Hi Scorpio, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys for liking the video. I appreciate it. We're just going to get started. All right, what's happening in money? What's happening in money? Okay, two of swords, death card. Okay, some of you guys may have lost your job. Okay, this is not what's to come. This is something that has recently happened. So that's how you're going to know if it resonated. Maybe you lost your job or resigned specifically. Okay, some of you guys may have resigned. Send in your res resignation or... Let's see. Do you want to? Yeah, there's something better coming though. That's the thing. Two of wands. If you've recently lost your job, there's something so much better in front of you. It may not seem that way now, but there's something way better here in front of you is the first message I'm getting. Now, I'm also getting a message for those of you that are just not happy at the workplace, okay? Uh, some of you guys may just kind of feel exhausted or you feel like it's killing you. Like literally the death card is here to, uh, to a sword. You may feel like your hours are just insane. Or some of you guys are wanting to, you're wanting a change because the two of wands, you want to see what else is out there. There's definitely something better out there is what it's telling me. So if that's a question you came here to get answered, there is better work, better environments, better opportunity. The thing is, you have to be open to it, right? You have to, you know, put in the footwork. You have to, you know, explore your other options. We have the three of pentacles. You guys actually have a lot to offer a workplace, Okay, whether this is certain certificates you have or just your overall work ethic, okay, with the Three of Pentacles. What else for money and career? For Scorpio? Six of, so it's telling me you are leaving something behind here. You could feel like a job was stolen from you or ripped out from underneath your feet or it's. Ace of Pentacles, there is a better opportunity ahead of you. So I think this is specifically, this message is specifically for the Scorpios that maybe you feel like there are sneaky people around you or maybe you feel like, you know, there's a boss that just keeps skating around, giving you a raise or paying you what you're worth or level, leveling you up in some shape or form. Why is that happening? Judgment. You know, some of you guys, the people or the person that's in charge of your elevation at the workplace is intimidated by you. Specifically, that's what I'm getting. Judgment card, four of wands for why this is happening. You ever heard like two qualified? Okay. Almost like you're too qualified. There, there could be a higher up here that is afraid you might steal their position. So they give it to the less qualified person. That's what I'm getting. Overall, your potential for success is amazing, but it's telling me you have to put in the footwork. Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. I do see success when it comes to money and career. Anything else? Yeah, look at that. Eight of Wands. That's elevation, baby. Okay. what you're meant to do that's what's so interesting you guys are meant to be you're meant to be in a position a higher up position is what i'm getting with the skill set you have or the knowledge you have some of you guys it's just street smarts okay maybe you need to go out and attain some type of certificate to be taken seriously y'all know how this day and age is um but i do feel like there is some you're, you're meant to be a level like much higher than you are okay is what it's telling me but there are some, there is someone that could possibly be in control of your elevation that is purposely keeping you at the level you're at, is what the tarot is telling me. That's what I'm getting. But you are supposed to be higher. The moon, this is shady deception going on, guys. Mm-hmm. 
I'm not trying to make anyone paranoid. I don't want to cause problems at your job. But just know that if your intuition is telling you this, you're absolutely correct. There are some shady shade going on. That moon definitely clarified that. Some Someone is purposely keeping you at the level you're at. We have the King of Wands, Seven of Cups, Justice card. For some of y'all, this is actually, oh, I hate saying this. It's illegal. Whatever's happening is illegal. Technically, with that Justice card. Okay, and I'm going to leave it at that. Um, because unfortunately, I don't think there's anything you can do about it because there's no evidence of it. There's no evidence of it. The thing is, the Justice card being here, you know, I feel like... I don't want to say this, but it's like, how do I want to say that? You're not crazy. Okay. Uh, you know, you're whatever. I, I, I don't know the specifics. That's why it's hard for me to get too specific here because you're all in different situations. You're not crazy, okay? You're not delusional. What you feel is happening to you at the workplace is actually happening. There is someone here that is keeping you small or underdeveloped or, you know, from leveling up to the type of success that you could reach here. What's the advice? What's the advice? Ten of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Go where you're celebrated. Uh, branch out with the Eight of Wands underneath that. There's definitely some branching out you could do, exploration you could do uh, to become well-established is what it's telling me. Take that how it resonates. But I'm seeing more success in your future. Why do I just feel like you're going to have to really put in the footwork for it? Some of you guys, it comes in the form of looking for something else or having some sort of, some of you guys will have a side hustle, okay, along with your regular work schedule that leads to a success because 10 of pentacles, three of pentacles, I, I definitely see a side hustle that could potentially turn into your foundation, your, your secured income, making more money, okay, doing something on your own versus working for someone else. It's almost like your potential here, Scorpio, is so high. There's someone around you. If you work for someone, they sense that. But you're actually, some of you guys are meant to own your own businesses or you're meant to, you're meant to do something where you're the boss. Because this definitely looks like there's a, there's trouble with authority here. Okay, you, it's almost like you don't like authority and it's because, you know, you're meant to be the boss, you're meant to be the head, you're meant to be the one that makes the decisions here, not be told what to do, is what I'm getting. Okay. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, there is, a, there is something new, a new offer coming in, coming towards you, or a new opportunity coming towards you. It's up to you to take it. Scorpio. The high priestess in reverse, they see you as transparent, that you don't hide anything. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but people see you as someone who's very upfront. Okay. <laughs> Queen of Swords. Yeah. You're seen as someone who is blunt, upfront, tell it like it is. You don't, people think you have nothing to hide or that you don't care to hide anything about yourself. Okay. There may be some people around you that sees you as, okay, I'm getting like, you're, you're the wise one of the group, 
But here's the thing. There are some people that don't want to come to you, Scorpio, for advice because they know you're going to tell it like it is. You're not going to enable their bad behavior or you're actually going to, you're, you're someone that wants to have us find a solution. So there may be people around you that really value your opinion, value your advice, but they're kind of hesitant to come toward you seeking this advice because they know you're going to say it like it is. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. I just saw the emperor. You're, you're, you're held in high regard, Scorpio, of your circle, okay, or the people that know you. Your people actually really look up to you as the leader, as the, the highest, okay? You're someone who has a lot of wisdom. But I have to say, like, you know, if people come to you for, like, shit talk or if people come to you for, like, advice or anything... They know that you, you're you going to take it very seriously. They see you as someone who's going to take it seriously, whatever it is. And you're going to actually say what you think. You're going to tell your opinion. You're not going to be someone that just lets them continue doing whatever nonsense they're doing. They know that about you. The Emperor. Tell me more. People see you as successful or having the potential to be successful, but you, you break cycles here. Okay, people also see you as someone who you really put a lot of effort into everything you do. They see that or you're putting a lot of effort into something here. So I'm just getting like people really see you as someone who cares. You're actually also, I'm getting the glue that holds the world together, like you're the glue that keeps the world together or the circle together or these group of people together, like there's something about you being the glue that holds it all together. Because you could bring people together. People see you as really hardworking, Scorpio. Like, you're someone who puts in effort because you care. P There's also people here that see you pursuing something or that you have the potential to pursue this. The world's here. You know what? Some of you Scorpios, you sleep on yourselves. Other people see your greatness, but I don't think you do or your potential for greatness, and I don't think you see it. The devil. There's there's people that fantasize about you too, Scorpio. I'm tell me more of that devil. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You know you got someone crushing on you heavily. Ten of Wands, the Devil, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. This person is crushing on you. So they're obsessed, as a matter of fact. Like you're all they can think about. It's an unhealthy obsession. Okay. Who is it? How would Scorpio know who this is? Could be a fixed sign like yourself here okay a capricorn or a pisces i got could be another scorpio a leo taurus aquarius they ignore you <laughs> they ignore you okay that's how you're gonna know who it is it's the one that is ignoring you the hardest right now how do people see scorpio People see you as adventurous, okay? Like you're someone who steps out of their comfort zone. Oh, yeah. And it's just that you are quick-tongued. You're sharp-tongued. You're going you're gonna to say what's on your mind. They know it. I have to say, too, there's some people here that are a little afraid to bring conflict your way, Scorpio. Because they know that you're going to pop off or they know that you're going to... Some of you guys, there's people around you that think... There's some people here that may think you're holding a grudge. People that have wronged you or people that have made you feel. The ones that have made you feel some type of way, like a negative emotion. These people think that you're holding a grudge, that you're still holding on to that grudge and that you're not going <laughs> to ever let it go. Okay.
Most of all, people just see you as successful, though. Okay, successfully established as a person. Like, you know who you are. People also see you as the wise one, Scorpio. Okay, you're you're the wise one. Like, you've actually been, you've been through it. Like, you've been through things that give you this level of knowledge. Okay, I think that's why people... So, like, people love going to you for advice, but at the same time, they're hesitant to because they know that you're going to be real with them. They know you're going to say exactly what you think. And so for that, they're attracted to that, but at the same time, they're a little hesitant because it's almost like people have to brace themselves for the truth you'll speak to them, but they also know they need that. <laughs> People see you, though, as successful or your potential for success is great. There is somebody here that wants to be in a relationship with you, Scorpio. Okay. I'm getting it's a fixed sign or a Capricorn. All right, let's pull a card for you singles. Let's see. Let's see. Sorry if the shuffling is loud. All right. What the fudgery mother F was that? Did y'all hear that? Did the did the mic pick that up? It sounded like a damn comet or like a damn warm wood is upon us. What the heck was that? Okay. A sonic boom or something else. Okay, anyway. Let's see. Give me a card for the singles. Give me a card for the singles. Cupid's arrow. It says, have faith. Love is coming. You're going to be pleasantly surprised here soon. Okay, I see you meeting someone new. Single. Some of you recently have met someone new. Okay, many options actually around you. Some of you Scorpios, if you're completely single, I feel like you're, you could be addicted to your solitude or addicted to your singlehood. And what I mean by that, you just, there, there could be an energy here where it's like, if someone comes into your life, they're going to have to really upgrade your life. Okay. Is what I'm getting. We have engagement ring. I see commitment, an offer of commitment coming towards you. The problem is it looks like there's many options coming towards you. Many options coming in. Okay. This palm tree, you got someone here that wants to offer you stability, security, okay? Uh, a connect, with the palm tree, a connection that can stand the test of time. Like, there is someone... But I feel like there's this hesitancy coming off of you, Scorpio. Okay. Slight hesitancy. Because the reason why you're hesitant, it's not because you don't like the person. As a matter of fact, some of you guys may feel a little possessive over this person. Okay, like you like them so much. They're coming in to offer you some type of commitment here. But why do you want to keep your options open? That's what I'm trying to figure out here. There's this energy of not being sure or being ready or, you know, wanting options here. Who's coming toward the singles? 
Mm. This person has disappointed you, so you know them. It's like you've sensed this person is emotionally unavailable, Scorpio. That could be where the hesita hesitancy comes from. Because I asked who's coming towards you, the Eight of Cups. This person kind of keeps you at a distance in a way. Like, emotional unavailability. The Six of Wands, the lovers, this person, it looks like maybe they they love options too. What is this? The lovers card tells me you two have a bond. There's definitely a bond, a, a, a strong bond between the both of you. Now, this person in particular, you may notice that they like to receive attention from elsewhere or they like to have their options open. It could come across that way to you. Or, you know, there's there's a sense of emotional unavailability here. What's so interesting is like, even though they like attention from everyone else, the lovers is here, they definitely feel an unexplainable bond with you. They feel a deep connection with you. So that's why you're keeping this person at an arm's distance here with the Eight of Cups. I don't think you've given up completely, but you could go back and forth on whether or not, or you may have gone back and forth in the past of walking away or staying. This is someone you already know. Okay, yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. Taurus energy, Gemini is here as well. Justice. Somebody's truly afraid of commitment. I think it's both of you. There are some commitment fears here. Okay, Justice card. I feel like someone, or it feels like both of y'all, because the lovers is here. It's almost like you both, you've attracted each other because you're both in the same vibration. Let's just start there. There's this mirroring of energy of you two really liking each other, really feeling a strong connection, but both kind of keeping each other emotionally distant. Somebody may have a fear of legal commitment as well, specifically. I just, I feel like you and this person are kind of like it's back and forth. All right, and it's baggage, not letting each other in. So what's the advice here? Somebody's carrying baggage from a past situation. Okay, that really weighs heavily on them. And they're letting that keep you too emotionally distant. There's a situation in their life that has absolutely nothing to do with you, Scorpio. That's why this person acts so weird. Okay. And you could have these same issues, right? Maybe you just don't recognize that. But I do see you guys mirroring each other. Three of Swords, and then we have the Queen of Cups. If if you guys continue this way, I see eventually someone getting hurt. Sorry, I hate giving bad news like that. So it's like Page of Cups. Queen of Cups, if somebody here doesn't follow their heart, I don't see it working out because it's like their heart wants to be with you, their heart wants to commit to you, their heart wants to express emotion to you, but it also stresses them out with the Three of Swords. There's, it, it's, it's really stress, the commitment and, and vulnerability and love is really stressful to this person. Okay. I feel like you've already met this person. All right, for some of you, maybe you just don't know them that well. Let's take a look at the new love interest. The 
the new love interest for Scorpio. So this is if someone brand new has caught your eye. Oh my gosh, Scorpio drama that involves competition. Jealousy, drama. Okay. How does this person, how does this new love interest view Scorpio right now? You're shutting them out, moving on. The new love, what is this? The new love views you as leaving them out in the cold, turning your back on them, keeping a distance from them. And no wonder there's the five, they're the five of wands. The situation, it involves a lot of drama. For some of you guys, you weren't, you weren't interested in being in some sort of competition. How do they feel? How do they feel about Scorpio? They're stuck on you. The hanged man, two of wands. I'm sorry, the hanged man, the four of wands, two of cups. They feel like this connection isn't getting anywhere. But they're not doing anything about it either. Okay. This person wants to be with you, Scorpio. What are their next actions toward you? What are their next actions? To reveal something, the high priestess in reverse. Break the silence between you two. Someone is going to show you how how interested they are in you. I don't I don't think they're actually going to say it though. That's not what I'm predicting. I'm predicting this person reveals emotion for you in some shape or form by their actions, by coming toward you to break the silence. They're going to show you that they're important, that you're important to them. I just don't think it's actually going to come out of their mouth that way. But there's some type of action they take in the future that shows you how important you are to them. Because they don't want you to turn their back, your back on them. But you don't want to be a part of the drama. Is what, it, is what this is telling me. Somebody could have Pisces in their chart. Cancerian. Earth, fire. Okay, could be any sign though. See, the current slash past person. Why are they the nine of cups? Three of cups. Are y'all in the same social circle? I'm getting like mutual friends, social circle here. Does this person treat you differently around other people? What is this? Okay. Nine of Cups. Roxy, thank you for the super chat. Somebody may treat you differently when other people are around or it appears that way to you. You think this person does it to keep their options open? I don't like that. So the Nine of Cups can be a, like 
the shadow side of the, of the nine of cups is kind of like selfishness. Okay. It, all about me. Right. Um, why do I feel like this person gets closer to you or acts better toward you when others are not around? Okay. But then it kind of, and I feel like you're picking up on this and it kind of feels like when there are people around, they're looking in the other direction. They're checking out other options. They're not, they don't, they make you feel special when it's just you two, but when other people are around, not so much. Okay. And so therefore that could, there could, you guys could be at a distance from each other or there's other people involved here. How do they see Scorpio? How do they see you? They love your attention. They love the attention you give them. They don't like it when you give other people attention. So let me get this straight. This person will give other people attention, but they don't like it when you do it. As a matter of fact, it really hurts them. It deeply hurt, wounds them when they see you focused on someone else, flirting with someone else, or when your attention is on someone else, but they're doing it to you. Or you feel as if they do that to you. How do you see this person? How do you see them? Oh, you. You still think there's potential here. A lot of you Scorpios, you see this person as attractive, okay? Like they're the desired goal, right? But look, the Three of Swords came out with it. That could be third party energy, or this is just somebody that hurts you. Okay? Yeah, King of Cups. You have feelings for someone that hurts you. Okay, but you see them as some sort of desired goal of yours. How does this person truly feel about Scorpio? How do they truly feel about you? Oh my God, two of cups. They think you're their soulmate. The attraction is mutual, two of cups. How you feel is how they feel. Oh my God, the star. They feel like you're someone really important and special to them. So why are they treating you this way? What is Scorpio's advice? You're really special. They feel a very special, significant connection with you. They're just not acting right. All right. I think this person really loves engaging with others. And they give me a really flirty vibe. Like this person, I, I feel like they're flirting with other people without having any intention to go further with those other people. But they just do it. I don't know. And it bothers you. That's You're like, that's not what I want to see in my person. But the second you start dishing out what they're dishing out, they're devastated. Tell me, you know what? Tell me more about how they see Scorpio. The Fool. They see you as someone who is flirty, spontaneous, looking for a new beginning outside of them. That drives them crazy. Drives them. For, for some of you guys, that's how they just, I don't, what is this? They justify their behavior because they see you doing the same thing, even though they know you don't like what they do and they don't like what you do. So y'all both want each other, but there's this energy of still testing the waters outside of the connection. And for what? Because you both, they see you as a significant part of their life, a soulmate. You see them as a desired goal. Y'all both want it. Y'all, y'all's end game is each other. But there's these games, okay, right now. 
I will say they do not like it when your attention is on other people. That drives them nuts. It's like just the thought of you having a new beginning with someone else really drives them nuts. It's a there's a paranoia there this month that because I don't know if you're I don't know if you are purposely doing this in front of them, but there's some type of this person is paranoid that you may find someone better or someone that you are more interested or someone that's more engaging. What's their hidden truth towards Scorpio? I will wait for a sign from you. I, I, I chuckled a little bit because you're like, what do I have to spell it out? Okay. That's what I heard coming from you. You don't want to have to spell it out for someone. You don't want to have to teach someone how to treat you, but why are they looking for a sign? My life is not as together as it seems. Oh, we know that. We see that. The timing just isn't right for us. You know, I'm going to tell you as a reader, this this feels like a cop out. I'm just going to be 100% real with you. This person does desire a connection with you. They feel like you're a significant part of their life. However, they're not mature enough to take the necessary steps or the leap of faith. Okay. And so they tell themselves that there are outside factors that may be wedged between you two. They tell themselves, my life is not as together. It seems they tell themselves they're not ready. Maybe the maturity level or financially or what have you to um, pursue that long-term commitment. Okay. Maybe someone doesn't feel financially ready or even just mature. The core of the thing, the core of the issue is they're not mature enough for it yet. Do they want it? Yes. They just lack the maturity that comes with it. I will say this though, in the back of this person's mind, Scorpio, they think that you are the one and that you're always going to be there, that you'll be there when they're ready. That's what they think right now. And they're just not ready. The timing isn't right for us. They're not ready for what it is that you deserve. Sarah, thank you for the super chat. Someone could have a strong Aquarius placement. I have Aries. I have Gemini. I have Sagittarius and Leo. A lot of Aquarius water as well. Fixed energy. Okay. Sorry that these are so long, guys. All right. I'm going to find try to find little ways to shorten it up, but it just is how it is. Okay. Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Aries through Pisces. Spirit, um, Aries through Pisces, Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Thank you guys for the encouragement. I really appreciate it. Thank you, ML. Thank you, moderators as well. Thank y'all. Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, oh, they're not going to take responsibility. Six of Wands. They want your attention, but they're not going to take responsibility for their actions. Take it how it resonates. If you're dealing with a Taurus, there's a comeback. I also get this Taurus is wishy-washy, okay? Hot and cold with the Will of Fortune. 
the Taurus thinks that the meeting you is fate. Okay, like you've made a big impact on this Taurus. But why do I feel like, I heard opposite day. Why do I feel like this Taurus one minute is like really into you and then the next minute they're cold or the, the Taurus constantly is changing their perception and changing their mind. <laughs> okay. Barbette Gray, thank you so much for the super chat. The Gemini wants you, the star, your wish fulfillment to the Gemini, you're all they want. Mutual feelings between you and a Cancer. Okay, the Cancer believes you to be their soulmate. They may not say it that way, but they definitely feel you tugging on their heartstrings. Leo is really attracted to you. A strong magnetic attraction. I see a gift. A Virgo is going to give you a gift. Okay. Some type of offering or a generous gift from a Virgo. The Libra misses you, okay, or misses you when you're not around. The Scorpio, communication coming in from a Scorpio, clarity. The Sagittarius wants to step up. For some of you guys, the Sagittarius feels stuck in another situation. They feel, I don't, I don't know what that's trying to say, but it's telling me they feel stuck, but they want to step up. They want to do what's right, but they feel stuck. The lovers, a strong, passionate connection between you and a Capricorn. Okay, they feel it too. So the Aquarius likes you, but I think the Aquarius tends to get bored. The Aquarius gets bored easily. I feel like the Aquarius loses focus. Uh, it has nothing to do with you. This is just something that's, okay, they get bored easily, especially if something is repetitive, okay? I feel like the Aquarius, their attention could be on you one minute and then off you the next, but it's telling me it doesn't make you, that doesn't make them like you any less. The Aquarius really likes you. They just can't, they can't stay focused. I think they have a wandering eye. Communication coming in from a Pisces. All right, everyone. Thank you guys so much for liking the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.